Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to create a drop down menu that accepts values not in the drop down menu. If you'd like to get the workbook you see here, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it from there. Alright, so what I've got here is the data validation worksheet from uh, Data Validation 1 tutorial. And we've got a sample list right here and the drop down menu in this yellow cell right here. And so I can select any one of these values and have it populate the cell. Also, I can hit the delete key to delete the text when it still keeps it in the drop down menu. The problem, however, is if I want to enter something else in this cell that is not within the drop down menu. Once I hit enter, it's going to give me the error or an error. The value entered is not val valid. So then let's go ahead and make it so that we can enter other values here. The reason you may want to do that is let's say your source table over here has not been updated yet. Say you got a 2.5 inch steel cable and you need to enter that into this cell because it updates another worksheet or an entire inventory management system. But since it's not in the drop down menu yet because it hasn't been updated here, you can't enter it. Let's go ahead and fix that problem. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is select the cell with the drop down menu and then go to the data validation window. We can do it with a keyboard shortcut to Alt D L. It's going to work in all versions of Excel. Or, and remember, before we go to the menu, select the correct cell. In Excel 2007, we can go to the data tab, data tools, and data validation. It takes you to the same window. Now, once there, it's going to drop you on the settings tab by default then you're going to want to go to the error alert tab. Once on the error alert tab, simply uncheck show error alert after invalid data is entered. Uncheck that, click OK, and now we can enter 2 inch steel cable. So check it out. It lets me now enter any value that I want in here while still retaining the functionality of the drop down menu. So that is a great way that you can have a drop down menu while still being able to enter any value you want in that cell. Essentially it takes the validation part out of data validation with just while just leaving you the drop down menu. So that's pretty much how you do it and uh, if you remember that, good, you don't need to watch anymore but I'm going to go over it one more time just so you remember how to do it. So all you need to do is to highlight the cell with the drop down menu go to the data validation window. This time I'm going to use the shortcut Alt D L. Once there, remember it's going to drop you on the settings tab. Once there go to the error alert tab. This box right here will by default be checked. You simply want to uncheck that. Uncheck it, make sure this entire window right here is grayed out. Once you've done that, click OK and you can enter anything in this box. Now if you want to um, change it back so that you can't enter anything here, you can only choose something from the drop down menu, simply go back to the data validation window and check show error alert after invalid data is entered. Then it goes back to the way it was before. So that's all you have to do to prevent errors from showing and be able to enter anything you want in a cell with a drop down menu. If you'd like to get the workbook, go to teachexcel.com, and that's it for this tutorial.